Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and in this video I want to show you guys my very first felting project, needle felting project. Um, I'm going to show y'all how to make this really easy hair clip. You could also use it as a bag embellishment or just basically whatever, but for a first project it went by surprisingly quick. Um, I did use pre-cut and pre-felted embellishments. This is the bag right here. There will be links to all the tools and materials used down in the video description below. It's Dimensions brand embellishments. They're 100% wool, though I'm not entirely certain what kind of wool. So let's go ahead and get started. For the materials here, I have a little foam brick that came in like the starter pack. I have a couple of different types of <clears throat> needles. I really prefer this needle holder. It's like ergonomic. I don't know. It just it's very very comfortable and it's very easy to change out needles because in my first like half hour of doing my first project, I stabbed myself, broke a needle, <laughs> and I felt like a real life um needle felter. <laughs> like I was like I'm bleeding. I'm I'm a crafter now. <laughs> but uh, you can see I've got these little felted wool embellishments, just like little daisies that are stacked on each other. And these are actually sewn together. But we're going to be taking whatever color you like of those, a flat base flower, which I think I'm going to use this kind of mauve tone. You could also cut your own from uh, wool felt sheets for needle felting. Uh, and just like kind of cut it out by hand if you would rather but for this beginner friendly easy very very easy project I thought it would be nice to just start with pre-made embellishments and so I'm gonna pick which one do we think looks best I like that <laughs> and it also gives you a little bit more of a you know selection to choose from and then I'm also going to use there were some little leaf shaped needle felting features in there and then we're gonna have just a little hair clip like this so I'm gonna get the camera turned around so y'all can get a much better look at what we're doing and we'll get started okay so hopefully y'all will be able to see this is not my typical camera setup so hopefully things work out okay we're going to begin by shaping the leaf and now you can use the needles just by themselves without any kind of handle and you'll want to experiment you don't want to stab so deep into your project that it's hitting your surface underneath um, but we're gonna come through and we're actually gonna take this leaf and just do a little bit of like a half circle here on the back side so I have it folded in half and I have it on our foam and I'm doing this video in real time because I wanted to give you all a very realistic perspective of how long this takes because I was really afraid getting into doing needle felting that I was like, oh my god, this is going to be the most horribly tedious thing in the whole wide world. Um, and it really isn't that bad. Um, if you've done like micro chain mail or really intricate wire weaving, you've got this. Like, it's just a bunch of stabbing, so much stress relief, ultra good. <laughs> So you can see I'm just stabbing right in this area and you will get a little bit of sticking to your work surface because you can see all those little felted pieces kind of poking through because I, I don't know if the camera, I don't think the camera will pick up on it actually, but there's a bunch of little like teeth in the needle so that whenever you push in, it's like it's just taking a lot of the fibers through with it. And also, please, please, please keep in mind, I am just a beginner at this. This is literally like my third project, but much like with many of the videos that I do, I wanted to share this beginner perspective with y'all because I might have problems um, that y'all can correct. You know, I, I feel like I, I learn by teaching, being like, oh, wow, this is a thing I learned how to do. How do you do it? <laughs> so please feel free to leave a comment down below. And I'm just flipping it over and over felting in the same spot and now you can see whenever you come through to open it up our leaf that started out perfectly flat 
now has some really nice shaping. And I feel like that can make a huge difference um, in make your piece looking like this. Because I could technically just sew all that together and boom, hair clip. And this with some nice like sculpting and stuff. And I think just getting a hang of doing little pieces here and there is going to help us. You yeah, I like it with that color green too. No, I'll stick with the leaf that we have. <laughs> um, but yeah, just doing a little bit where it's like, yay, leaf done. Now we can go through. Let me go back to using my ergonomic tool. And felt it in just a little bit. These components are quite thin, like there's not as much felt here. I prefer a little bit thicker, I, I think, as a beginner, um, just because I don't, like I had done this piece yesterday and I actually had, like I accidentally ripped off one of the little petals um, <laughs> of the daisy. I'm also trying to learn embroidery, but oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll get more to that later, hopefully. But we can come through, we could do little pinches you know, if we wanted a lot of shaping, we could go through on the tip, fold it in the other direction. This is, I really love the texture of needle felting. And so to give like waves and stuff to the felt, to, you're sculpting with it a little bit. So, and I don't mean for my hands to be in the way, but I tried my typical camera setup and it was shaking because it like clamps to the table that I work on. And every time I do a little stab, it just shakes the heck out of the table. So just like that, we felted the tip together. And so now you can see we have some really nice shaping. So again, to go from flat to shaped, I feel like it could work out pretty well. Um, so I'm gonna set that aside, and now we're going to begin on our large flower which what I'm doing for this one is at the tip of each petal and you can almost just shape it with your fingers. And I'm sure I could put in some sort of stiffener and steam it, but the idea here is to get used to this needle felting feeling, you know, getting kind of the muscle memory in. So I'm folding it over and it's almost as if you were sewing a dart. You know, I'm just gonna try to keep that same angle. So I'm just gonna felt this part here or stab it, I guess. That's, I don't know any of the proper terms or anything. I'm so excited to be learning a new craft. Stabby, stabby, stabby. <laughs> but yeah, just come in. I try to not bend the needle at all, like by dragging fibers because then it will break. And just the more perfectly, like pretend like you are a sewing machine. If this needle comes in at an angle and you put pressure on it, it's gonna snap because it has, like you can feel it with your finger. It's almost like the way a porcupine quill is where it's like got little microscopic stabbies. I mean, these aren't microscopic, but for all, you know, my level of current technology, they may as well be because I can't show them to you on the camera. And so you can see that's put that nice pinch in there, but now we've got all this fuzzy here. So what I'll do is I'll take that and kind of swirl it around a bit just to round it up. And stabby, 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 get it through to the other side. And so now, even if we squish it, it still has that texture in there. Whereas if we just pinch it and shape it, it'll still flatten back out. So going through and doing this on the tip of each one. Now they do have tools like this one, which I actually have my eye on one that's a wooden handle and doesn't have this little plasticky thing. Cause I feel like it gets stuck sometimes. If it goes, if that dot comes off center at all, it will not go in. It has to be perfectly lined up and that drives me bonkers. Um, like straight up, uh, but you can take it and, and it just does, this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven needles in it. So if you're doing like a large flat sheet, that can come in really handy. But again, I personally would not recommend this style. Um, cause I feel like, I mean, you have to cram it so hard just to get this stinking thing to go down. Um. But on smaller pieces like this, you don't really need it. Stubby, stubby, stubby. But I'm really excited 
to learn more techniques. Like I've been watching a bunch of YouTube videos. I've been reading a bunch of blog posts. There'll be links to all sorts of stuff that I recommend down in the video description, as well as affiliate links to where you can purchase your own materials. So if you'd like to learn needle felting with me, be sure to check that out. And that really, anything that you buy through those links, even if it's not the thing that I've linked to, greatly helps our company. So I really appreciate y'all's support over there. So I actually do most of my grocery shopping through Amazon now too. If it's a dry good, heck yes. <laughs> so there you can see. And again, not the worst, like, most horribly time-consuming thing. Maybe. <laughs> and the more we do this, the more we're going to learn about how much it takes and how to, you know, optimize the efficiency and stuff. But I think sometimes it's okay to just have fun crafting. You don't have to be like, oh my god, it has to be perfect right from the beginning. Or, you know, I have to spend as little amount of time on it to make it as, you know, profitable as possible for selling it on my Etsy. Or, you know, it's just enjoy yourself. We can just have fun with this one. What? Have fun crafting? What's that? <laughs> But yeah, just like a sewing machine, just up, down, up, down, up. Crazy paper dragon. Um, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Um, like you can go in at an angle. Just make sure that your needle itself is staying straight because it startles me so much whenever I break one. I'm like, oh gosh. But yeah, I like doing just a little bit of a swirl because it's like it gets wrapped around our needle. And I really think I could benefit from a different, like I've already demolished this little foam thingy. Like, and I, I literally got this last night, you guys. That's how excited I was to start needle felting. Um, <laughs> but I made this hair clip. I made this hair clip. I made a little mushroom that I'm super proud of and excited about. Um, I started doing a maple leaf bag, um, which I don't really know what I think of them. Don't look at that one. I don't know what I think of it yet. Um, but it's it's a, it's good fun. And I would had gifted to me the most precious little sort of fluff butt. So he's going to be supervising my needle felting journey. And I was actually able to tidy him up a little bit because I'd played with him so much that his butt was starting to get a little too fluffy. Like it was coming unfelted. <laughs> and you can see how much he's shaking. That's how much the, the table is shaking. So I'm sorry for the camera angle. But yeah, uh, you don't have to stab all the way through the whole needle length each time because I think the little, yeah, it feels like the little notches are more focused toward the tip of the needle. So short and fast, or shallow and fast rather, uh, needle stabs seem to get me where I'm going. Also, be mindful, these will stab the heck out of you. Um, and it's not pleasant. <laughs> I mean, not that it's ever pleasant, but this is this is probably the least pleasant thing I've ever stabbed myself with. Okay, so now we get to put on our little flower stack here. And I'm, ooh, we could do, on the last one I didn't do any texturing on these petals, but you totally could. And for the sake of time, I'm not going to. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull back these top ones, see how it exposes those ones, the bottom layer, and get our stab on. Stubby, 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 stubby. <laughs> I was talking to Randy last night as I was doing my first couple of needle felted projects. And I was like, to needle felt a voodoo doll is to commit murder. And he was like, yes, it is, Bon. <laughs> so, but I was like, man, 
because I was like, that'd be so cute. Because I've seen like these really cute, um, you know, crocheted dolls, like of the different like Doctor Who's and some anime characters and just, you know, like Deadpool and stuff. And I was like, oh, I could needle felt one. And I was like, yeah, it's basically making a voodoo doll that you, you know, stab into being. And I'm like, I need to spend less time on the internet. It's making me weird, I think. <laughs> And I'm just pulling this one out of the way because I want to leave it like unfelted, I think. Now again, you can actually hear it hitting the table and that's, I feel like I could use a block about twice this thick, um, which I'm going to have to look into maybe making one. But I don't really know, like, I don't want a material that's going to dull my my needle too much. But I certainly don't want to keep stabbing my table. Because that's how needles get broken. Okay, so there's that, and you can actually see all these fibers now poking through those were from these petals so that's how it's getting joined together and right now I could probably rip it apart if I like tried um, so you can I mean felt to your heart's content because more than anything this is about having fun and enjoying yourself and enjoying the process of making your craft so if you want to stab it a bit more, stab it a bit more. And there's a nice little flower. And I just love those cute little tips. <laughs> okay, so now we get to attach the leaf, which I am going to not attach to the petals. I'm actually going to be attaching this to the center on the back side. So step, 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 step. And so you can really see here, maybe, hopefully, I mean, I feel bad for the lighting, but maybe you can see. And I don't want too much to show through, and that's why I did try to go with a leaf that was at least the same color as in here, because on this one, I had gotten some dark green fibers from the leaf poking their way through and then this is actually how I, and you can see I had felted it to the petals so there's different ways of getting the end, re end result and then I had used this flower cut out to attach the hair clip quite securely actually um, to the back but it was doing these three little holes that I broke my needle so on my next one I just really not good at hand stitching stuff but that's how we get better. Um, I just sewed it on with some embroidery floss that I had left over from doing the embroidering. So you could use a fabric glue, you could use, I mean, just whatever you want really, as long as you feel like it's stable and it's getting you the result that you want. I feel like it's sewing but without having any thread because you just, oh, it's so fun. <laughs> Just getting it nice and felted together. And there we are. And you can see a little bit of those green fuzzies poking through. But I just kind of rub them up with my finger. And you can tidy up your edges by, again, just running the needle very gently and tucking it in. So anybody who, if I do a giveaway or start selling my needle felted work... There's going to be me hair felted into it, and there's going to be dog hair felted into it. So that comes for free, though. Cruelty-free animal fibers. I don't know. The dogs are pretty mean to me. <laughs> so there, our leaf is attached. Sorry if I wandered off camera. I was just having fun. And instead of pushing the green through to the petal, I'm going to push the petal through to the green, just to avoid any muddying of colors. So there's our flower. 
And so, I mean, and again, like this is actually a bag that I'm making from my maple leaf leather bag tutorial um, or a template available for sale on my Etsy shop, but I just cut it out of the sheet felt, like the wool felt sheets. And I've only done the back side so far, but I'm gonna be cutting out front of pouch. And I gave this one, I wanted a little bit more of a pixie feel to it. But I'm going to be cutting out the front and then I think crocheting or using a leather gusset, you know, to give some depth to the pouch. But this would look super cute, felted to the lid of a bag. Ah, that makes me so happy. <laughs> um, or you could felt it onto a hat band or onto a bracelet or onto a crocheted or knitted headband and that's anything that you use though for felting you're going to want to have it be 100% wool so on any of your skeins of yarn make sure it says where does it say it 100% pure new wool that's what you want no acrylic um like even uh i don't know would a wool silk blend felt at all Leave a comment down below, you guys. All y'all fiber artists out there are so crafty and knowledgeable. I'd love to hear your perspective on this mess. <laughs> and so, again, we would just take this. And I like the clip being hidden by the leaf because, of course, I got distracted and didn't do that on this one. But we can go through with where you at embroidery needle. Oh, my chicken fell over. Chicken down. Oh, gosh. He's just butt up. Well, I lost, no, I lost it. Or did I put it back where it goes? No. <laughs> no, I did not put it back where it goes. So I'm just grabbing an embroidery needle. I don't know what whole size this is. Man, I'm having a heck of time trying to get it out. There we are. And I'm just going to use a little bit of this cotton embroidery floss. Oh, no. Oh gosh, I'm so bad at this. Where'd you go, little thing? Nope, that's not the end either. Oh, this is a mess. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. Okay. Ugh. Now I'm gonna have to re-spool that. Any tips, life tips, you guys, on how to deal with being basically a cat? Um, so trim in our thread. I just wet the tip. And then I'm going to thread our little thingy on there. Woohoo, at least that went smoothly. And I like to do a few stitches to start. So I'm going to pull this guy almost all the way through. Again, I don't know. I, I never was like formally taught embroidery or anything like that. So I don't know if this is a good way to start your thread. Again, someone please help. <laughs> I am open to constructive criticism, to people being like, oh, that's a bad idea. You shouldn't do that. So I'm just hooking through some of our felt and through the hole on our clip. I'm so sorry about the poor lighting right now. I'm going to have to figure out a new setup for uh, recording fiber art. Because I've been doing this in my old living room that's halfway converted into more craft room space. And we don't have any lighting set up in here yet. Nothing good for filming at least. Thank goodness for this big window. And so I'm just whip stitching around. Be feeling perfectly good about grabbing generous portions of felt. As so long as I can't see these stitches on the front, I'm alright with that. With however it needs to be. And then I'm also going to hit some whip stitch. I'm going to leave it closed, actually. But here on the sides, through there. And I'm going to do two or three on this side. Just really cinching that down. I don't want this to wiggle... So I feel like whenever it wiggles, it starts to fall apart. Whereas if it's nice and sturdy, kind of nothing's wiggling loose. Sometimes I'll get little knots. Let's see if we can troubleshoot this. Oh goodness. 
Hashtag fiber art problems. There it goes. What good fortune. Okay, so now I'm going to open that. Come around and st close it. And start whip stitching on the other side. Whip up. Stitch up. And then it gives us enough space that we can just kind of go on through again with what we were doing. And Okay, well I feel pretty good about that. So I'm going to do another stitch, but now I'm going to start adding in knots. Okay, so I've just hooked through my loop and I'm pulling down so it's knotted. And then I'm going to do one more, but I'm going to hook through my loop once and then twice. It's a surgeon's knot, I think. So the cats on the internet told me. And then I like to, instead of leaving a loose little tail, I'm actually going to take this and I'm catching it through my felt right through there, my whole needle. So, unhooking it from, it's looped around my petal. But, so it tucks that loose tail, and then now I'm going to trim real close to right there. My big dorky, like, third grade scissors that are not sharp. I need to sharpen them. And there we have a cute little hair clip. I, I, which, for a felting project, I feel like that's pretty, not so bad. We can do this. <laughs> hey guys thanks so much for hanging out with me for this tutorial for 25 minutes mostly jibber jabber thanks for for watching um that was probably a really long video but i had fun hanging out with you guys but not bad for i mean i think it took me like two hours to make this guy last night so not too shabby and with the nice little clip that's on there you can just take it clip some hair boop, you got some little felted garden <laughs> or something uh it's probably more better pulled off on like a six-year-old but I don't know if I ever grew out of the whole putting flowers in my hair phase um if you guys have any questions comments or ideas I would love to hear from you if you have any suggestions of like books or blogs or anything like that to help learn more about needle felting I'd love to hear about that too because I feel like I have just breached the tip of the iceberg and there is so much more to learn and I'm very excited to learn it with you guys so there's links down below like I'd mentioned to where you can purchase your own needle felting materials on Amazon as well as links to my Patreon, uh, my social media. So if you make a needle felting project or any project really, I'd love to see pictures of it. So you can tag me um, on Instagram or you can share it to my wall on Facebook. And then also you can post pictures on my Patreon. You don't even have to be a pledger. I just have a Patreon account, though the more you pledge, the more behind the scenes access you get, as well as um, coloring pages and digital download content, like all of my templates on Etsy. If you're a $10 and up pledger, you actually get all of my digital templates so that you can make your own sewn or felted or leather bags or anything like that. All that stuff is on there. And then if you pledge $20 or more, you get craft crates sent to you monthly, which I'm really excited to maybe sneak in some uh, needle felted goodies for my patrons. So, <laughs> but I will see y'all in our next video. So until then, happy crafting. Bye.